Joséphine Baker, c'est le courage, c'est la liberté, c'est la joie. This is the breakout performance of the legend Josephine Baker. She was dancing the Charleston in front of nobody knew about this dance. 1920s Paris had never seen anything quite like it. She's feeding into this whole idea of the exoticism of Africa that the French held. Josephine Baker a repris tous les clichés racistes. Elle, en fait, elle s'est moquée de ça en, en s'y pliant. From this moment, Josephine Baker would be catapulted to fame to become the world's first black superstar. J'avais aimé la vie d'artiste des années folles. Et je l'aime toujours. On a de la chance, vous savez, nous autres, d'être sur la scène, de s'exprimer avec tant de, de bonheur. In this special program, Brian Boyan Baker tells us what it was like to be the child of one of the most famous performers of the 20th century. She was also a war hero and a civil rights activist. Nearly 50 years after her death, Josephine Baker is being honored with a place in France's revered Pantheon, a monument reserved for celebrated French icons. She's the sixth woman and the first black woman to receive the honor. C'est ça le vrai bonheur.